Ramamba and also to rededicate for the nation in the especially the space sector uh, the journey of the chandrayaan 3 was is really an inspiring journey for all of us so one year later we are celebrating the first national space day uh, and today we are not only celebrating the success of the chandrayaan 3 but also laying down the vision for the future next 20 five years uh, uh, in the amritkal what you should do in space sector really to expand the economy expand the technology and also to go to places where we have never gone before india celebrated its first ever national space day on the 23rd of august 2024 a year after isro's significant feat of landing on the moon india had become the first country to land on the southern polar region of the moon on august 23 2023 the Vikram lander from Chandrayaan-3 had successfully completed the soft landing on the dark side of the moon, and Prime Minister Narendra Modi had announced the date as a National Space Day. Hindustan National Space Day ke rup mein manaya jayega. The National Space Day marks the recognition of this significant accomplishment, reflecting India's expanding capabilities in space exploration and highlighting the vital role of space science and technology in national development. The landing also signifies a historic milestone as India was only the fourth country to successfully land on the moon. ISRO has space sector in the space sector. The people who know here are the people who know that one or two days ago, the Chandrajan has been सेवर से प्राप्त जानकारी से ये धारणा मजबूत हुई है कि आरंभ में चंद्रमा पूरी तरह मेघमा का महासागर था और धीरे-धीरे शीतल होते हुए वर्तमान स्वरूप की तरफ बढ़ा इसे वैज्ञानिक भाषा में लूनार मेघमा ओसेन हाइपोथेसिस कहते हैं मुझे ये जानकर प्रसन्नता हुई है कि भविष्य में इसरो द्वारा चंद्रमा के अध्ययन के लिए अन्य मिशन की भी जजनाई है मैं संपूर्ण इसरो परिवार तथा विशेषकर चंद्रमा मिशन के से जुड़े सभी लोगों को अपनी शुभ नाम कामनाएं देती हूं The theme for National Space Day 2024 is Touching Lives While Touching the Moon India's Space Saga highlighting the broader impact of space exploration on society and emphasizing how advancements in space technology can enhance the quality of life on earth by commemorating this day, India underscores its commitment advancing space science and technology, fostering international collaboration and inspiring innovation. 23rd August 2023, Chandrayaan-3 made the historic landing on the moon, creating a never-before event in the history of the space program of this nation. In ISRO, we never imagined the impact that is going to create out of this accomplishment. And it is when Honorable Prime Minister of India visited us in the control center after a few days and he made the announcement of 23rd August to be the National Space Day and also declared the landing site of Chandrayaan-3 as the Shiva Shakti point. This year, the National Space Day is being celebrated all across the length and breadth of this country with the participation of departments, ministries, uh, educational institutions, science organizations, NGOs, general public, and there is a lot of energy and enthusiasm that is visible. Today we have culminating the entire celebration uh, with the presence of our Honorable President of India on the National Space Day, the very first National Space Day, celebrating the inspirational journey that we had in the Chandrayaan-3, and also to envision the future course of action that we need to take in the space sector, especially the journey in the Amrit Kal. And I wish to thank the Honorable Prime Minister of India for the motivation, the vision that he has given to all of us for creating the next space vision for our country. Today we have the fortune to have our Honorable President Draupadi Mumuji with us to inaugurate the maiden National Space Day. I remember she has taken keen interest in the space activities and also invited me to the Rashtrapati Bhavan once to start a talk program in the Rashtrapati Bhavan the very first time. Thank you so much, ma'am.
and also for your gracious presence in the Rashtriya Vijnan Puraskar. Yesterday, we had the award from her for the team Chandrayaan 3. <laughs> and I wish to thank for her kind gesture to be with us, to be visiting our stalls, and to be among all of you during this inaugural function of the National Space Day. Thank you, ma'am, once again. <laughs> and I heartily welcome you to this uh, program. Dr. Jitendra Singh, the Honorable Minister of State, is such a pillar of support for all of us in the Department of Space. I think all of you know uh, he has keen interest in space sector, and he has all the time been supporting us with his, uh, uh, with his support, his ge good gestures, and consideration for all of us in the Department of Space. And thank you so much for your, for your being with us and also your presence today. My heartfelt thanks and also welcome and greetings to each one of you for the distinguished invitees, speakers, uh, the delegates, and other students and all participants for this program. We hope that the first National Space Day will create an, an engaging day throughout today where we uh, talk, you know, in, in, interact with all the space users, the space sector people, the ministries, departments, the industry, startups, students, and also to not only to serve the success that we had in the Chandrayaan 3, but more important is to look at what is lying ahead of us, how to create you know, bigger landmark in the history of the space program, how to create a vibrant space ecosystem in this country. And the whole inspirational journey of space program is something that sugar uh, right from today. Thank you so much once again, and welcome to all of you. And thank you. Jai Hind.